Jones. Tell my bitch I make a living on the race course. Pop, pop, pop. Vision. Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing my 2,000 subscriber special and it is going to be a Q&A that you guys have been asking and you guys have been asking so many questions, like loads of questions. So I have so many questions that I'm going to be answering in this video. So please stick around for the whole entire video. Your question will be answered as long as you follow the rules that I said last video. So let's get into this everybody. So the first question comes from Disturba Gaming 776 and he asks, Will you be getting an Xbox Live membership? Now, I actually really want to get Xbox Live. I don't have one right now, guys, and I'm sorry, but I really want to get one, and I will get one eventually. I'm telling you guys this right now. I will get one. As soon as I get one, I will be adding loads of you. So if you guys have an Xbox Live, you guys have a gamer tag, please leave it in the comments down below, and I will add you guys. It's going to be fun. I'm going to have so much fun. It's going to be so awesome. We're going to be playing some zombies. And the next question comes from Tristan Plays We Won, who asks, I have a question for you, Brixer. How old are you, and what's your favorite game? I am 17 years old, a senior in high school. My favorite favorite game has to go to Call of Duty World at War Zombies. It is so much fun. I am obsessed with it. It's amazing. Like literally every single time I play it, I just get so excited, so happy, and it's awesome. So that is my favorite game, guys. It's awesome. So let's get in to the next question. And the next question comes from TJ who asks, what's your favorite car? My favorite car is going to be on screen now and it's actually called the Inferno Exotic. Inferno Exotic is what it's called. So sick. Just look at how great it looks. I want one one day, but who knows? I'm probably never going to get one because they're so flipping expensive. But that's my favorite car. It's called the Inferno Exotic and I love that thing so, so much. Obviously, it's not practical because I'm not going to get it because it's so freaking expensive. But who cares? That is my favorite car and yeah, it's awesome. The next question comes from Gaming 776 again, who asks, Will you be getting a P.O. Box? Yes, we're actually going to be opening up a P.O. Box. It's not going to be extremely huge. Now, I don't know what that means. Like, say it's only like this big. Does that mean you can't send huge packages? Does that mean they will go back to you? Does that mean the packages might go behind the counter? I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to probably get one that's like this because they're so freaking expensive. It's like one little thing. is like 60 bucks or something. I don't know. They're so expensive. So, yeah, we're going to be getting like a little bit like a, like a little narrow mailbox it's going to be like a p.o box not mailbox it's gonna be a p.o box and it's gonna be awesome you guys can send me stuff i will make a whole entire video on it as soon as i get that open start getting it running i want you guys to send me pictures no money guys please do not send me money only pictures drawings anything like that i will love if you guys send me money i might have to refund it to you because i really 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 don't want to take your money but yeah i'm going to be opening up a p.o box very very soon and the next question comes from philip hemsley and he asks one thing I want to ask you, when are you going to get Xbox Live? If you do, can you add me? Of course, of course, I did say that before. I'm going to be getting Xbox Live maybe soon. Maybe I'll get it soon, guys. As soon as I get it, you guys know I'll be tweeting on Twitter, taking a picture of it on Instagram. I will be telling you guys on the live stream. Do not worry, everybody. I promise you guys, we will get Xbox Live eventually. Everybody's been asking me that for like crazy. So yeah, we're going to get Xbox Live soon, guys. We will get it. Next question comes from Ali Cruises Gaming, and she asks, Hashtag Brixervision, can I be your partner on YouTube? I want to become hashtag partner of Brixervision. You're all partners with me. You're all my friends. You're all my family. You're all my friends. Thank you so much, Ali Cruz. Yes, you are a part of the Brixer Army, Brixer Squad. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Yes, yes, you're all a part of this. You're all part of this channel. And the next question comes from Tristan Plays, who we won again, who asks, Brixer Q&A! What? Expire? I'm guessing you said inspire you to do YouTube and can you please play Super Mario 3D World? Now, what inspired me to do YouTube is just looking at all the fantastic and all the amazing people I see on this YouTube platform. Like just inspiring people, making people feel happy and just growing as a community. That's what really, really inspired me. Seeing the YouTubers, seeing Ali Ye, seeing all those, just those huge huge youtubers out there that start off from nothing and became huge like that just inspires me you know what i mean because we can become so big here and i can inspire so many more of you guys every single day to push towards your goal to never give up and that's really what inspired me to do this and tomorrow 3d world I would love to play. I actually have a 3DS right with me. I'm always playing this baby. I'm actually in the middle of tomorrow 3D. Tomorrow Bros 2 
And yeah, I have Super Mario 3D World. I actually beat that whole entire game. Every single star coin, every single level, I beat completely. The regular world and the second world. There's like two different worlds on it. And yeah, I beat I want to do a gameplay of it. The only thing is I have to send my 3DS into a company if they, and they have to like install something inside of it in order for me to play. Unless maybe I could just use a camera or my phone to like record it. It has to look good. If it's going to look really crappy and stuff, I'm not going to do it because I want only quality content on this channel. No crap, no nothing. So yeah, Tristan Plays, that is... That's your answer. I honestly just love looking at YouTubers these days. I just I just love looking at that. I love looking at people that start off from nothing and became something and inspired so many people to do YouTube. And it's just great. You know what I mean? It's great to share the YouTube fun with each other because it's so much fun to be on YouTube. It's so much fun to make videos. And I just love it so, so much. For, so thank you so much, Tristan Place, for asking that question. That was really, really awesome. And the next one comes from Ali Cruz Gaming. And it's not even a question. It's just... Get a P.O. Box. Right now. Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Kobe person asks, Hashtag Brickster Vision, Do you like Sonic? What's that noise? <laughs> so you tell me, my man, if I like Sonic. Endless Gameplay asks, how old are you? I am 17 years old, as I did say before somebody asked me, actually asked that question also. 17 years old, senior in high school. Next year, I'll be going to college, which will be crazy. I don't know. I don't even know. It's going to be insane for me to go to college next year. Like, I don't know. I I'm still going to be with YouTube, guys. Do not worry. I'm going to always be here making videos because that's what I love to do. And I cannot, I would never want to give it up for anything else because this is something that I love so, so much. And Endless Gameplay actually asks another question, and he asks, do you, did, do you think you might hit 100,000 on this channel? 100,000 subscribers? I don't know, guys. I don't... You know, maybe, maybe one day, I don't know, maybe like three or four years from now, if I keep on going, maybe one day we can hit 100k. That is, I don't know if you guys know that, but that's like my goal. Like, you know how whenever like YouTubers are, they're always just like, oh, so this is my goal for the end of YouTube. Or this is like my, this is my huge, huge goal. Like, like I'm here and the, my goal is all the way up here. So my end goal is actually 100,000 subscribers and it would be insane if we ever hit that. But that is like, that's like my end goal. That's like five years from now when I'm still doing YouTube, grinding every single day, getting that quality content out and just like looking up and being like, oh my gosh, our goal is so close. Like we're so, we're almost there after grinding for like five or six years. It's like, it's crazy. Maybe that, maybe 100K can happen, but not now. Nowhere near now. Years and years and years down the line when I just keep on uploading, keep on bringing that quality, consistent quality content onto YouTube for you guys to watch every single day. Maybe, but that is my end goal for YouTube. It's not in the millions to 10 million. That's not what I ever experience or ever even comprehend me hitting one day. I, I think eventually, you are right, Endless Gameplay. I think eventually I can hit 100,000 subscribers, but I think it's going to take a long time. And of course, it is going to take a long time because YouTube is something that slowly grows over and over after time and time and time it's not something that you could just get on for a few months and just jing like click right into and get 100k like that it's not how youtube works and i'm going to be here making videos every single day for you guys because it's what i like to do and if we ever hit that one day i will i will feel like i've completed youtube i will i will feel insane and right now i'm so so blessed and so happy to have 2,000 subscribers. That is just mind-blowing. I don't even know freaking 500 people in my life, let alone 1,000, let alone 2,000 is what we're at now, and it's just absolutely insane. So thank you all so much. Endless gameplay, thank you so much for asking that question. That was a very, very good question. Go to Stevens asks, hopefully I said that right, what's your favorite COD? My favorite COD is Call of Duty World at War Zombies. I know you guys are going to be like, what? Why not Black Ops 3? Why not Black Ops 2? No, guys, no. Call of Duty World at War is the best game in the entire world. I have it for PC. I have it for 360. It is so much fun. Nocturne told me. Barak, Darius, Shinonuma. So much fun, guys. 
so much fun. The best Call of Duty, in my opinion. I love the zombies. It was just, it just felt so good having the Thompson. And, oh, it was just, it was amazing. It was amazing. And that PPSH injuries was so, so awesome. I know it was also in Shinonuma, but it was amazing. So, yeah, that's why World at War is my favorite COD. Panda August one asks, Brixer, how do you feel having 2K subscribers? Q&A, hashtag, a little backwards, but that's okay. I honestly cannot believe we hit 2,000 subscribers. Like, I'm not even joking with you guys right now. I don't even, in my entire life, I don't even know 500 people. Let alone 1,000, let alone 2,000. I don't even know what we're going to be at in the future. 2,000 subscribers is insane. I can't even, I can't even rub my head around it. It's it's crazy. Like at this point, I'm at this point on YouTube where I'm just like, hey, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to just keep on making content because obviously this is working and you guys obviously like what I do. So I'll be here every day making videos. Ruth Jarf is asked, Task Drive Brickster Q&A, when are you going to get Xbox Live? I'm going to get Xbox Live. As I said before, I promise you guys, you guys have been asking me so flippin' much and I promise you we will get Xbox Live, guys. The next question is from Foxy Games, Roblox, and Smash, and they ask, can you do a reaction video, Brickster Q&A? Hey? Brickster Vision, hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you Yes, you. I'm gonna teach you how to become PewDiePie. Here you go. So, if you're becoming PewDiePie, what do you gotta do? I don't know. Have, what do you have to do? You gotta, you gotta have headphones. And when you have headphones, you gotta pull your hair back. And have nice, long, shaggy hair. Yeah. Woo. Do you wanna become PewDiePie? Yo, who's this guy? He's a jerk. <laughs> I suck at this, guys. I can't react. So yeah, man, there's your there's your reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. Taco Jason asks, what phone or PC is good for drawing? Now, you don't normally draw with a phone or a PC, but I'm going to just assume that you're talking about an app that you can draw. There's so many apps. All you got to do is just go in your app store and just, just search up drawing or look like, oh, the best thing to do is you can also search up like chalkboard. Like those are the best. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a trolling question because you can't draw with a phone or a PC, which doesn't really make any sense. But I don't know what you're trying to ask. Maybe you're trying to troll. Maybe you're being serious. I don't know. But just look up, look up chalkboards, whiteboards, and you'll be able to draw on that. And then also on the PC, there is this little app and it's called Paint. If you have a Windows, then it's called Paint, and you can draw with that if that's what you're asking, but... Gamer Bro asks, Revelations or Origins? I'm gonna have to say, since right now it's actually not out, when you guys are seeing this video, it'll be out in two days. So, Revelations or Origins, honestly, like, Revelations sounds a lot more hype. It sounds like they were adding a lot more to the map. So, I'm gonna have to say Revelations, but, guys, who knows? Who knows? Like, maybe Revelations will turn out to be really, really bad, and everyone will hate on it. I don't think so, because... I think, I think Treyarch is going to do a really, 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 like, like, really, really, really good map for the last map of Treyarch on Black Ops 3. I think it's going to be really, really good. But, you know, you never know because, like, we don't know. We've just, we've been seeing so many trailers lately. Like, it's going to be so hype. But is it going to live up to the hype that Origins has? Because Origins, everybody knows that Origins was that top map. Origins was the map that, like, you could say, hey, like, what map do I play in Black Ops 2? Nah, not Mob of the Dead, not Town, no one likes Transit. Zeris, I mean, Die Rise? No, not Die Like, Origins, like, the name Origin just, like, just, just brings, like, a light bulb in my head. I'm just like, yo, let's do Origins. It sounds so fun. We gotta do it. That's the stash asks. Would you rather have no hair or eyebrows? That is weird. I have not thought about that one. So, no eyebrows, so you'll just see me like this. Or no hair. I'm gonna have to go with no eyebrows because if I have no hair, it's gonna look extremely, extremely funny. I mean, I know no eyebrows would look really funny on me. Like, like look at me right now. Like no eyebrows. That's gonna be really, really weird. But no hair will like 
Just think about that. A 17-year-old walking around bald. That kind of would be weird. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But, yeah. That's what I would say. I would definitely say I'd rather have no eyebrows than no hair. Charlie Green asks, Would you ever do a fan meetup? Oh, you want a fan meetup? Here we go! How you doing, man? Thanks for watching my content. You're awesome. What about you, little guy? Ah, uh, let's give a little sauce here. Uh, uh. What about you, man? Thanks for watching my videos, guys. Fan meetup today. Woo! Yes, I would. I would love to do a fan meetup. I just need to know. Like, one thing I would love to know is where the majority of my audience is from. Like, if you guys are from England, then we would have to do something towards England. If you guys are from Canada, then we'll do something towards... Like, you know what I mean? The majority of you guys, wherever you guys are from, that's kind of where we would do... Like, I'm not gonna do... I'm not gonna do a meetup in China if no one watches me from... Like, you know what I mean? Like, we gotta do a meetup from somewhere around the world where most of my audience comes from. Because I know a lot of you guys come from England, UK, like... Like, I know you, a lot of you guys come from, like, over there, and that would be awesome to do a fan meetup. Like, I honestly, like, we'd be so down for a fan, meet, fan meetup. I don't know when. We, yeah, we're definitely going to do a fan meetup. Like, I don't know when. I don't know how. But if you guys really, really want it, like, I mean, Charlie Green really wants it, and I would love to do a fan meetup. So, yeah, maybe in the future we'll do a fan meetup. You guys can hang out with me. Say hey, say ho. <laughs> ZenXFatzilla1 Gaming Channel asks... Any tips for anyone new that wants to start a gaming YouTube channel? Hashtag Brickster Q&A and PS you're awesome. Nah, you're awesome, Zenex. <laughs> okay, so if you want to start you want to start a gaming channel, first of all, I would definitely, definitely like say, yes, you need to have a channel that is original. Don't try to copy anybody, don't try to be like anybody. Be unique because on YouTube, there's so many people that try to become somebody that they're not, and that just draws away from the audience. So what I would tell you to do is, if you're trying to start a gaming channel, pick a name that, first of all, say you're saying, say you're going to have a name, like on, on a gaming channel on YouTube, you don't know what to call you're thinking of something, make sure before you make it, you look it up on YouTube and make sure that there's no one that pops up when you look up that name. Make sure that, like, say you want a channel, Purple Marker, just, just, just something... Just something crazy, like Purple Marker, you know what I mean? Purple Marker, make sure you go on YouTube and you type in Purple Marker and you go to channels. If there's no channels to have that, go ahead and have like make that name. Don't try to copy anybody, okay? Because copying people will never get you anywhere. It will not get you subscribers. It's just going to get you a lot of hate. You want to be unique. When I was first starting Brickster Vision, I went on YouTube and typed in Brickster Vision and nobody popped up because I was the only person that was like, hey, let's do this. This is great. Like, no one has this. A real pro gamer J asks, do the most epic dab of all time. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Thanks for asking, man. That's absolutely amazing. You stopped on my video. What Drew Hero060 asks. Hashtag Q&A Brickster Vision. Who made you interested in YouTube? And can you make vids about reviewing channels? Now, who made me interested in YouTube? Honestly, I'm gonna have to give props to the the YouTuber Ali A. I watched him so much when I was first. When I didn't, when, first of all, when I didn't even know how to upload a video onto YouTube, when I was just like, I don't know how to do it. I'm just gonna watch other people do it. And Ali A was actually somebody that I really looked up to. So I think he's kind of somebody that I would be like. He kind of inspired me, and you're asking me like who made you interested? Kind of Ali because I just saw how happy he was. I saw how many people he used to like inspire, and yeah, that's kind of what got me into YouTube. Like watching other YouTubers succeed and just seeing how they do it, and then putting your own little spin on it. And then you're asking, you make vids about reviewing channels. I really don't have a problem with that, as long as you guys like. If a lot of people let me know in the comments down below, like, hey, can you can you do a video of you just going on YouTube? clicking on different channels and just watching some videos and reviewing their channel. I would be so down for that, guys. Just let me know in the comments down below. I, I would definitely do that. Don't think like, hey, I'm just some kind of a greedy YouTuber that's just, hey, I just want all like the views and stuff. Like if you guys want me to like, give you some inputs, make it, help you make your channels a little bit better. If you guys like, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm the best at, I'm not going to say I'm the best at like telling people, hey, you should improve this or hey, you should improve this. 
But if you guys if you guys like my input, then yeah, I'll definitely do that. Thanks for asking, True Hero. You're awesome. Mystic asks, Hey, Bricks and other people watching this vid, but what do you think like when the Pro Gamer J joined our stream? Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I was streaming two nights ago, and the Pro Gamer J actually him. Like, I'm not just saying that. Verified 315,000 subscribers. Stopped on my stream to say hey, and it was insane. I was losing myself. I was dying, and I, I don't even know. If, he's probably not. He might not be watching this vid. But if he is, thank you so much, my man, for stopping by in the stream. That was literally amazing, and I cannot thank you enough. I was going crazy. I was going crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't even believe somebody this big stopped on my stream. He subscribed to me, he said, and he also followed me on Twitter, which was insane. He also left a comment, so you guys actually just heard one of his comments. It was actually him. It's verified. Go check out my video two days ago. I promise you guys, it was actually him. It was insane. It was literally, I lost myself. That, other than him, that was the biggest that was the biggest YouTuber that ever commented. The only other person that was bigger than him that commented on one of my streams was Hike the Gamer, and he actually comments. He has almost 2 million subscribers. But yeah, Mystic, I was so excited. I was going crazy. Thanks for asking. The next question comes from Hotline Striker. I actually know him in real life, so shout out to you, my man. Thank you so much for asking me a question. And he asks, would you think of doing fan mail or fan meetups anytime soon? Yes, as I did say before, yes, my man, I would love to do a fan meetup. Doing fan mail would be so fun because I have a couch right behind me, laying on it on a Friday night, putting my camera here and just doing a video for you guys and fan mail. I would love that. Yes, we need to do that. The next question comes from Mr. Cod58. Hey, you know what that means? Nothing. As <laughs> Hashtag Bricks and Q&A. Who inspired you to do YouTube and why? Well, actually, as I said before, Allie is somebody that inspired me. Also, another, like, kind of figure that inspired me was just kind of the YouTube community. Just seeing all the YouTubers come together is just really, really, really inspiring. And why did they... Because they inspired me because, like, they kind of showed me, like, watching other YouTubers showed me that you can start on YouTube. You can start from nothing, and you could become huge. And I'm not just saying that. I, I'm not, like, I'm being so serious with you guys right now. That is really, really what inspired me to do YouTube. Seeing somebody start from literally nothing, no subscribers, no views, turns into millions of subscribers, inspiring people every day, making people happy, making people smile. That's what's important, guys. And yeah, that is really, really what inspired me to be on YouTube now, uploading every single day. Shout out to Landon, what's up, man? Brickster, big fan, aw, oh, thanks. Asks, Brickster, Q&A, Xbox or PS? Now, I'm going to have to go with PS just because of the fact that I actually use PlayStation as my... Oh my gosh, I almost dropped the controller. PlayStation as my main console right now because all the new DLCs comes on PlayStation. So yeah, that's why I would pick PlayStation. But other than that, I always used to be an Xbox fan. I always used to have Xbox before I got PlayStation. I got PlayStation last Christmas. It was awesome. Like, I love PlayStation. But literally, there's not a lot of difference. And you, this is coming from a guy that has a 360, an Xbox One, and a PS4. It's really Xbox One and PlayStation 4 is not different at all. It's literally almost the same exact thing. A few little tweaks, a few little like design changes in the controls and like the layout of the home screen but it's really really not different so it's honestly I would say Brixer big fit I would say that it's up to whatever your friends have if the majority has PlayStation go for PlayStation you can all hang out with them you can talk to a party you can play some zombies you can do whatever you guys want if all your friends have Xbox go to the Xbox side why not it's just really pick what you think is great and pick what your friends are doing so you can play with your friends all 214 asks battle of the badasses Captain Price or Victor Reznov. Now, I do not know this. I actually looked it up before. It might, I'm not actually entirely sure what this is. I think this is a show. I'm not entirely sure what this is. But I'm going to have to go with Captain Price just because I love that name. Like, Captain Price. Watch out. Watch out. That's why I would pick that. But yeah. Thanks for asking, Skull. Spo Replays asks. Hashtag Richter Q&A. What made you start YouTube? What made me start YouTube? Honestly, what made me start YouTube is just seeing everyone doing YouTube and me being like, hey, I can put my own little spin on that and I can do just as good as anyone else, you know? <laughs> That's really why I started YouTube, just because, you know, I'm on here and I'm just like, hey, 
I can do it too. If I can do it, you can do it. Anybody can do it. And now August 4 asks, Hey Brixer, who do you like? Who do you... Who do you like soda or juice? Q&A hashtag. Okay, I was a little confused on how you worded that, but soda or juice? Juice 100%, you know? Gotta get that juice every day. Yeah, and I 100 asked, Brixie, where'd you go? I'm right here. Oh, okay, yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> I got you, I got you. <laughs> he asks, what's your favorite Mario game? Ooh. Actually, one game I've been playing so friggin' much lately it's called New Super Mario Bros. 2! So yeah, that's definitely one that I've been playing. And also this game. This game, it's called Super Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a huge old retro gaming person with that Mario shirt, with that Mario. If anyone has a problem with a 17-year-old playing Mario, get the hell off of my channel! Jexy Loves Bleach asks... Hashtag Brickster Q&A. Are you my biggest bae along with Yogev? Yes, you are my biggest bae. All of you are my biggest bae. Yes, guys. If you don't know, Yogev is another YouTuber. His name is The Gamer Pro on YouTube. And he's absolutely amazing. And yeah, yeah, you're all my bae's. Hugs. Next question comes from BrixterFan111. Why? Why that picture? Why that profile picture? I don't know. Brixer, how do you feel hitting 2K again? Oh my... Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I never thought in my life I'd hit 2,000 subscribers on this channel. It's freaking amazing. And I'm, I can't even comprehend, guys. You guys understand that? I told you guys before, I can't even, I can't even begin to understand how we have 2,000 subscribers on this channel. It's like something that I'm never, I'm never going to understand. I just, I don't understand how we have 2,000 subscribers. Like, how? How is this possible? I don't understand. You guys like what I do, apparently, so I'm going to keep commentating over video games. I'm going to keep on talking to you guys. I'm going to keep on live streaming because this is what you guys love and I love. Billy Silver asks, Brickster Q&A hashtag, why do you like Call of Duty? That's a good question. Honestly, I love Call of Duty just because of, like, of the, of the kind of different way that it feels apart from like other games so like battlefield it's a lot different from battlefield not like a whole lot different but like obviously you guys know with battlefield it's like battlefield the, the maps are so much bigger i like call of duty because it's some of the maps are small and it's a first person and i love first person shooters i just i don't know i'm just i've been so into call of duty since i think it was 2012 is when i got into call of duty and i just love it i love the feel of it i love the zombie mode i'm obsessed with zombies as you guys know world of war is my favorite game in the entire world and yeah i just love call of duty because I, I i'm just so used to the way that call of duty is i'm so used to the first person shooters i'm so used to the guns i just know how call of duty works so that's why i really like it battlefield i've tried to play and i just suck i can't even get like two kills in the game i'm i'm just not like some other people you guys might be watching you're just like hey i don't even play call of duty like i die every time i play call of duty from battlefield i could go on like a 30 kill streak and i'm just like hey like that's you guys started off playing Battlefield, I started off playing Call of Duty, so it's like you're better than you're better than me at Battlefield because you started off, and I might be better than you at Call of Duty because that's where I started, you know what I mean? It's kind of just whatever you started off. Call of Duty has been something that I started off playing a while ago, and I'm just I'm just so into it, and I'm still playing it today. And I don't know, like I'm not gonna play it as much. Like I love I love going on my computer and I love playing like like second like party like first part like title games like small title games. Is what I love to play on this channel, like little games that no one even knows about, and I, I commentate over it and I make you guys laugh and stuff. Yeah, that that's really why I like Call of Duty. Anthony Mock asks, "What inspired you to start YouTube?" Hashtag Bricks of Q and A. Inspired me to start YouTube is every single one of you guys every single day that, and all the YouTubers actually, the YouTubers, the big YouTubers nowadays, like really make me want to do YouTube because they just make me so happy. And I could not think of any other reason why I would want to start YouTube because of the fact that so many people on YouTube are so big and they can inspire so many people every day. And I want that for this channel. I want like I want you guys to come to my channel and just feel good, you know, feel great, feel like you could take on this world. You know what I mean? And that's what really, really counts, in my opinion. I don't, I don't think the numbers really matter. I mean, yeah, two thousand subscribers is freaking like crazy. It's like I can't even comprehend that, but. At the same time, numbers don't really matter to me. It really matters about the content, and it really matters about who's watching the videos. If I'm making your day, if I'm making you smile, if I'm making you feel good, even if you're having a bad day, even if you're having a bad day, and you come to one of my videos and you just feel good, like that's really what matters. Like you feel that little heart warm inside. Like that's that's what really matters. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It does not matter about the numbers, guys. Trust me. But yeah, 
Anthony Mock, thank you so much for asking that question. That was cool. Mark <laughs> asks, hashtag Bricks and Q&A. Any tips for YouTube? Ooh, tips for YouTube. My first tip would be to never quit. Never in a million years quit, no matter how much hate, no matter how much n like no growth you're getting. Spark, do not quit, my man. Never quit on YouTube. I'm telling you this right now. Do not quit because when you quit on YouTube, that's when that's when the momentum stops and that's when you're not going to grow. Yes, Spark, I understand that sometimes on YouTube, you're not going to grow for months. You're not going to get the, the love that you want. You might get some dislikes. You might get some hate. Don't let it bother you. Please, guys, please Please, I'm telling you right now, somebody that's been on YouTube for over two years uploading and somebody that I guess has a little bit of knowledge about YouTube, please do not stop. Never quit. If your goal is a thousand subs, do not stop until you hit that thousand subs. I'm telling you right now, guys, that you can achieve so much more than you guys think. So much more. You guys might be sitting there thinking like, hey, I wish I, wish I can do this or I wish I can do this and you can do it. 10 times better than me, 10 times better than me. And I'm telling you guys this right now, I don't want you guys to just think like, hey, he's just saying that because he's this big on, no guys, I promise you, I promise you, if you wanna hit your goal, you can hit it, and you just don't stop, man, don't stop. Don't stop the consistent quality content. Make people laugh, make people happy, just be a, be a genuine person in life, you know what I mean? Just be nice, be awesome. Don't, that, that's really the tips I would give to any YouTubers, like, is to stay focused on your channel and never quit. And I know that's very hard on YouTube when you get hate and you get dislikes. Like, it's it's annoying, I understand. It's annoying sometimes when you upload a video and you put so much work into it and you already have two dislikes. I understand that. It sucks, I know guys, I understand. But the secret to it is you can't quit. The, the, if you quit, you will never achieve your goal. So do not quit. Always attack your goals and spark my man. You can become way bigger than me one day. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that Q&A. I really, really put some work into this. So if you could just drop me a like down below, I'd really appreciate it. Comment what you want me to do to, for 2,500. What I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to be doing a room tour. If you guys want like a desk tour, it's so, like how I make my videos, like what I do with my videos. Like you guys can see everything behind, like inside of you. You guys only see this side. You guys don't see that side. So if you guys want to see behind you, then like please let me know in the comments for 2,500 subscribers. And then one one day, I don't know when we will, but one day when we hit 3,000 subscribers, guys, we are definitely going to do something big. And the last question comes from Danny August, and he asks, can you do a Warhead challenge? I would love to do that. We're going to do that for a video. Trust me, that's going to be really, really fun. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys with my heart and soul. You guys are everything for me. Thank you so, 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 so much for two thousand subscribers it is insane and i cannot thank you enough so thank you so 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 much i love you guys you guys are amazing make sure you're all smiling make sure you're all beautiful and amazing and i love you guys have a nice day Woo! Ba, 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 brick servision out